Hi guys, time for another paper aeroplane from the complete book of paper aeroplanes by David Woodruff that cost me £1.25 at Cancer Research UK charity shop. Uh, they are available on Amazon. I've just had a look in the last few minutes. They seem to be second-hand ones available, which makes them nice and cheap. There is an affiliate le link, leak, an affiliate link in my video description to help you find it. Um, I have just checked. I've had no money whatsoever from uh, Amazon for using that link, but I think that's because when you buy them secondhand, they're so cheap anyway. There's there's no divisible number that will give me any uh, feedback from it, any kickback. Anyway, we did the devastation bomber yesterday. So today, Sea Stride Airliner. Okay. Yeah. Right, let's see what we can do with this. I use a piece of secondhand A4 paper and I follow the fold instructions. You could rip the page out and use that, fold it up, or you could photocopy it. But I'm going to try and follow those instructions. Now I'm looking at that and I'm trying to work backwards to try and save doing any measurements. If you do do measurements, if you use centimetres on here and convert those to half an inch on here, it actually measures up quite nicely. But we've obviously got to fold a bit back at the beginning there. Let's have a quick look. That's 1.8 centimetres. So on here, if I can find a pencil. There we are. I couldn't find it yesterday. So on here, that would be half an inch is one centimetre, then 0.8 would be 8 twentieths. So half an inch and eight twentieths. Half an inch and eight twentieths. Need something to draw on. So that'll be our first fold line. And we've got to fold the corners in and then fold them in again and I can see that that's going to take us yeah I reckon I can do this right printed side down it says obviously that's so that you get the nice artwork on the outside of the aeroplane when you've finished but being as I haven't got the nice artwork it doesn't really matter, other than at least we know which way we're supposed to be folding. Whether we're supposed to be folding mountains or valleys. So, we folded that in. Right, the next bit is supposed to be just a corner. But I can see that if I go... Yeah, let's, let's just find the centre first. If I fold that down like that to that centre point, I might just as well have folded that right the way along, haven't I? Note it doesn't tell you to do this, but I'm looking ahead. Right, if I fold that down to that line there.
it will become clear in a second. Knock one down. So there. And then that one. So there. Is actually the same folds. So we've done that, done that. And then fold that one that way, which just happens to be the opposite way to the way that I'd folded it. There's a little cut there that we need to do. Except we don't know how high to make it. That's going to be... That's that 1.8 again. That's going to be one of the final fold lines along there. And it looks like that's the same there again. 1.8. Eight. Also shows some flaps on the back, but I'm not going to worry too much about them. One centimeter, so that's half an inch on there. And that one is two point eight, I reckon. So that's that cut there. So we'll do that while we're at it. So say so you could photocopy it rip the page out, or the other thing you can do is trace over it. Right, so we've done that, we've now got to fold that piece has to go up and these have to go down. Then these fold back up again. So then that's how it's supposed to look, like that, with some flaps on it. I'm going to leave the flaps out first of all to see if it'll fly 
without them. Right, this is another one of those ones that's not very good for gripping underneath because if I grip it, I'm flattening it and it's designed to have that open, this gap. And I want to grip it like that to throw it. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> to be honest, it seems tail heavy to me, so I'm going to add a little bit of weight at the front. All right, just a little bit of blue tack at the front there to give it a bit of weight. Sea Stride Airliner. Didn't like it. It's a bit loose and uh, floppy. How else can I describe that? It does fly, but mm, it needs stiffening up, really. I could probably add some super glue on it or something to actually stiffen all the joints so it stays fairly rigid. And then it might fly better. And I had to add some nose weight because it seems very tail heavy. So uh, not terribly impressed with that one. Obviously I'll edit the video to show you the better flights. So there we go. Thank you for watching. End screens will be up in a minute. Um, up here should be the one that YouTube recommends you watch on my channel based on your existing viewing preferences. And down here will be my channel for you to go and have a look at whatever you like <laughs> on my channel. And then there'll be a couple more up here. They'll appear in a minute. Thank you again for watching.